Well, Corpus Christi Polymers will soon resume construction on its recyclable plastics plant. The company plans to hire hundreds of workers over the next three years. And today their CEO spoke exclusively with our Brandon Schaff. Here's that report. Here at the CC Polymer site on the Joe Fulton International Trade Corridor, you can see this gigantic complex behind me. Now this is what they're going to resume construction on next month in August. And the leadership of the company tell me that it's going to be bigger than anything like it anywhere in the country. This will be the largest uh, integrated uh, PET and PTA plant in the Americas. CC Polymer CEO Russell Wilson explains the facility will have two parts. The first is PET. In the U.S., most people recognize it as the, the lightweight resin that's in your water bottles or soda bottles. It's a 100% recyclable, lightweight material. The second product is PTA, the feedstock for PET. Feedstock is the raw material that helps make the product at the Bayside location. Wildlife expert Chase Tunnel with the UT Marine Science Institute says he's not worried about any negative environmental effects from small plastic pellets like nurdles, which can disrupt local animals' eating habits. They've got all the new technologies. Um, they've got all the, the best management practices that can be done on site. And so really, with these new facilities, you wouldn't expect to find uh, many nurdles being released. The facility can now produce more than a million tons of PET and PTA each year. CC Polymers has just 35 employees right now with plans to go to 250 once they start operations. There are advantages uh, to being the largest. There are advantages to being the most technologically advanced. Uh, we also believe that uh, you know we have the right technology uh, the right partners and in the right location. Construction will resume on the partially constructed complex in August, with heavy work beginning early next year. The facility is expected to be in operation in 2025. Brandon Schaff, 3 News. All right, Brandon, thanks so much.